everyone. I'm back here with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS G16 2023 model. The exact model is an ASUS G614 j ASUS Rock Strikes. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can replace or remove the battery in your laptop. This is a brand new battery. I'm just going to use it as a demonstration for the replacement or removal of the battery. All right, by the time you might want to watch this video, it's been a few years and you just want to replace yours. If yours is not holding up any more charge or it's just discharging really quickly, so you just want to replace it. All right, so let's go ahead and put a workshop towel on the bottom and power off the laptop completely. And you want to flip it upside down, make sure the front end facing you. And there is a reason for that. First, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves the opening tools. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. From this tool set, I'll be using a Phillips number one. Also, if you get the Pro set, they will include you with some opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and trunks. All right, with all that said, let's get into it. On the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws that camouflage this screw right in the middle between the grill. Don't forget about that one. Now, we wanna remove all of the screws except the one on the bottom right corner. You don't wanna remove this one because this one has a little lock on it, has a C lock on the other side that will prevent the screw coming up entirely. We wanna leave this one for the end and I'll tell you why. You wanna remove the front row screws except the one on the right. These are the short screws. And then we're gonna remove the rest of the screws which are the long screws. You keep the screws in a different pile so you don't mismatch them. And that way you don't put the long screws in the front, otherwise it would just pop out through the bottom case on the other side. All right, let's go ahead and remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and help you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment areas. Appreciate that. All right, now that we remove all the screws, we're gonna go over this tiny screw in the corner. As soon as I start rotating this screw, you're gonna see this, there's a tiny gap that will open up between the bottom cover and the palm rest. And right there. Again, I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, there's a tiny space that open, I even can put my fingernails in there. All right, so we're gonna take advantage of that tiny space. And we're gonna stick the guitar pick about one or two millimeters in there, and we're just gonna pop it up like this all around in the front. I'm sticking about two or three millimeters of the guitar pick in. I'm not sticking the whole half of the guitar pick. Same thing on the sides, you wanna do it in the corners. You just wanna go in there, do a little halfway through, and start doing the other side. Don't worry about those sounds, those click sounds, those are fine, those are the clips are getting loose. When you finish doing the front and the side, you just wanna grab it and wiggle it around like this. Don't worry, it's not going to break and lift it up and it's going to snap the back clips too. So those are the tiny clips that are getting, holding the bottom cover. All right, now that we remove the bottom cover, we can see the humongous battery right in front of you. It's a 15.52 volt, 90 watt hour battery. The model for this one, it's a C41N2109. I'll try to get the link for this one and I'll leave it in the video description. All right, to remove this one, uh, first we need to remove the PCH uh, fan right in here. So remove one screw, second screw right in here. So remove these two screws. Now we can grab this fan gently and put it right over here. Here, Don't put it anywhere else, it can, can create a short. We can grab a plastic rod or plastic spatula and we wanna push this tiny clip back about one or two, half a millimeter, pretty much it just to loosen up this white cover right there. Once you see this cover is loose, so when you push it back on, it just comes over the cover. So you just wanna push it back about that much. Don't stick it too much, otherwise it's gonna go. Next, you wanna put a plastic cover right underneath at the back, and then you just wanna lift it up to jack 90 degrees towards the ceiling and it will disconnect the connector right there. Now, once we disconnect the battery, simply we're just gonna remove one, two, three, 
and four screws. There's a warranty label right in here. We can disconnect, remove these four screws. Sometimes you can use a tight tweezers and lift up this paper for the warranty paper, and it just comes out. If it doesn't, you can just rip it off. Nothing will happen right there. All right, once you remove the four screws, now you can simply grab the battery and bring it up. And these are some cables that goes underneath as a little tape. There we go. I don't know why they take the speaker cables to the bottom of the battery, but that's another thing. So this is a pretty heavy battery. It's like really compact and really heavy. So let's say that you got the new one in, same thing. Sometimes they don't ship you out with this cable. Make sure you pull this cable out. There's a positive and negative uh, terminals right in here. The positive is always red. So make sure the red connector stays right in there. So and you want to push it straight inside the battery, not sideways or anything like that. It has to go in straight in and make sure it goes all the way inside there. Once the battery uh, the cable is connected, all you want to do, you want to bring it and just dump it right in there. And first put the four screws to hold the battery in place. Last part is just make sure the lock is opened. I see this lock is not opened all the way back. There we go. Now you want to bring the connector down straight and then push it towards the motherboard. Once it's in there with your finger, just bring the metal cover back over the connector. Once it's in there, carefully, gently, bring this fan over, make sure the screw holes match, place it right on top, and put the two screws for this fan. And the third screw goes from the bottom cover. Firmly tight it, not too hard. There we go. And that's how you uh, change your battery. Now, there's a little trick for the new battery that you should do once you replace your battery. It is very, very important. I'll tell you in a second. All right, so you grab the bottom cover, put it straight right over, and push down the corners, the side, the front. Don't push the C-lock on. You just want to first tighten up the screw. And then you just want to make sure that it's clean. When you push the corners down, it's going to do some clicking. That's fine. That's what you want to hear. And put the short screws in the front and the long screws towards the back and mid. And regarding the new battery, once you put the new battery in, you do not want to power on the laptop right away. You want to leave it in an off mode and you want to connect the charger and leave it charging for at least two, four to five hours while it's off. After four to five hours, you want to power on the laptop without the uh, charger connected, just solely on a battery. And then you just wanna use it on a normal usage without no heavy load, no gaming or anything like that. Brightness down to 50, pretty much what you wanna do, you wanna discharge the laptop down to 30%, 20%. Once it's discharged to 30 to 20%, you wanna power off the laptop and leave it charging while it's off for another four to five hours. After that four to five hours, once it's fully charged, you can power it on and use it as you wish with the charger connected or uh, using it with a battery, playing games or whatever you want to do. That initial charge and discharge, it is very crucial for new battery. And you should do this servicing of charging and discharging once every couple of months to keep your battery in a best state of charge and discharge. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.